Hey there YouTube, I thought I'd just share um, this little project and what I've done here is I've, I wanted to be able to use uh, the power from my batteries from the solar panel a little bit more efficiently. Um, don't get me wrong, that little power supply there that gives me, you know, it's, it's a linear regulated so it gives me pretty much up to the battery power uh, minus a couple of volts, uh, which is okay. You know, when you're doing the little things, but I want something with a little bit more oomph. And as my power supply broke, I decided to use some modular um, units and just put it together. And I've come up with this. So what we have is a. Um, at the minute, it's running from this little power supply, which is powered by the ATX box there. And I'm just giving it round about what my um, what the batteries would be. So if we say sort of like 12.8, 12.9, and of course that will drop a little bit. Uh, a little bit more current actually. And so it's sort of simulating what I'd normally have on the batteries anyway. It's a really dull day today, and I used a lot of battery last night, so I've got 12.7. Uh, so. But what I've done here is I've put a boost converter in here, but the boost converter can go up to 84 volts, and my, the input on this can only go up to 60 volts, because this will give me 50 volts on the output. Up to 15 amps it says 750 watts, but I don't think it's got the heat dissipation for that, but never mind. I shall be doing a test on that today just yet. So what we got here, this is a little bit bright for me at the minute, so I'll just flick this up. <clears throat> so you can see you've got, got 15.1 volts. Uh, that's not what's coming in. What's coming in is, yeah, your 12.2 there it says. And we've got 15.1 here now. And I can turn this up. We can just keep going up. And this gets me to my maximum threshold of what I can put into here. Um, but it will go further. So I have to ensure that I don't um, I don't turn this up. And I certainly don't flick this switch into the on position while this is on 82 volts. This is one of the reasons why I put this control here was so uh, if I was going to have like, um, you know, I don't want it on 60 volts input into there permanently for lots of you know reasons so if I'm only going to be using let's say 20 volts out of here you know I can put this up to 25 volts or something 1.1 uh, ratio isn't it really um, and that can go in so I can leave this on let's say let's just say 15 and a half 16 volts and then I can switch this on and this is the DPS, so it's the new version of the DP um, by RD Tech. I'm not going to go over all the controls of this, um, but as you can see down here, we've got a voltage input, and it says 15.92, 15.92, um, and here we've got our output values, which there's nothing off at the minute. But if I switch this to the on position here, I'll now have 9.3 volts on the output here. Um, it's limited at the minute to 300 milliamp, which is what I like. I like the you know, to current limit. And I've also limited this whole thing to 250 watts max, which is the maximum which my charge controller can provide it anyway. Uh, it's probably not the best of setups just because there is this problem here if this was twiddled around all the way to the right that would pop this and it just kills off the whole thing but as it's only going to be me playing with it um, and I will I will never switch this on until I've switched this on and checked the voltage here um, I'm not going to be particularly too worried so let's take a pop in the look inside seems a bit of a slap happy mix mash of whatever but um, 
this booster is one of the two boosters I got where the current adjust didn't work and so I got refunds on both of them so I just had to use one uh, I have it's basically just strapped in here there's holes I've drilled into the case and I've strapped this in but it's it's a pretty good uh, tight fit this is held down um, this is the board that comes with this um, this 50 volt 15 amp jobby it doesn't look like it's got plenty for heat dissipation but I don't intend on ever using that amount of power really I just noticed that these wires here look a bit trumpy but and that's it, so I've just brought my power in, I've brought it to a switch and from that switch I can put the power into the boost converter uh, that then comes through this uh, voltage amp meter which is only 10 amps so I've got to be careful what I do there I've actually got another meter that I may put in here which is coming which will go up to 100 amps and it's got milliamp there but I don't think it's really necessary for this it's only to give me a guide and what's actually um, what's actually going to go into this unit here? So we come out up here into this double pole uh, switch, so I can turn off the negative and positive sides, completely isolating um, this circuitry from here. And then it just goes into here, and then the rest is just controlled by this uh, this little unit. I don't know how. Um, steady this is or precise this is over a period of time because I only got it in yesterday and then I just spent my evening um, putting it into this no uh, yeah I've learned lessons I learned lessons like maybe I should measure things out properly because then I might have a little bit more of a symmetrical gap between this and this and this may have just fit in a slightly bit better into this gap but hey ho, these are all things that you um, you get to learn while you're doing things and you know I'm not going to try and say that I'm the greatest DIYer about because I'm not mm. but it gives me a practical and look, so I just switch that off nothing really changes there apart from um, we're not pulling so much power anymore I switch that off there and that's it, that's, the, that's it pretty much isolated. My little variable power supply. Um, just trying to use... I, I wanted to use one of these and I wanted to use my batteries as well. I like using the solar batteries because um, it just means every day that we get sunshine it's a, it's a, um, it's a positive, it's a bonus. I've always got power going into those batteries and I can always tap off them. And the way I'm going to connect this up at the back is, so basically if there's no battery power, I'm going to have a connector on the back, so I can just go straight into uh, power from there, if necessary. Hmm. So, I just thought I'd share that. It's a um, little thing I've been playing around with. And I shall see you again soon. Cheers for watching.